good evening everybody. Uh, I would like to introduce Dr. Win Rowan from uh, UNESCO IIC. At the same time, I would like to introduce uh, Professor Stephen Greenberg from UNESCO IIC. I am the program director. I was coordinating the program together with uh, Dr. Wim Dubin and uh, jointly we, we directed the program. But we, we distributed the tasks a little bit, so I was a uh, program director and then the uh, program coordinator. Uh, PROEC stands for Postdoctoral Program and Climate Change Adaptation in the Mekong region. It's an interdisciplinary program. There are eight different postdocs and they were all studying climate change adaptation related uh, questions. Some come from a background in hydrology, others are uh, ecologists or hydraulic engineers or uh, social scientists. We had also people studying governance and uh, economic issues related to climate change adaptation in the Mekong. I'm the program uh, coordinator, program manager of, uh, of the PROAC uh, program. So I coordinate uh, most of the of the uh, of the activities and, and uh, the, the relations with the different postdocs and, and the, the partner institutes that host uh, the eight postdocs. Is it necessarily about uh, decentralization? Just how what their structure looks like, yeah. what uh, governance arrangements yeah. they yeah. have. And, and then, and I can't see that here because of the, it's black and white. Mm -hmm. You seem to be struggling with color print. seminar this week. We, we, we think we come up with a kind of a concept note for ideas for a second phase. Share it also with these are different events historical events. And I think we cannot wait here also so please uh, be how to say uh, you, you can enjoy your stay here in uh, Laos or in during your uh, discussion or presentation in the same project. It's a postdoctoral research project about climate change adaptation. Climate change adaptation, that's <coughs> what we do the research about, and um, it's a, a very uncertain future. We all know that. Talk about the main climate change today. The program is climate change adaptation. Climate change adaptation is a very important topic worldwide. It's also very important and important topic here in the region. It, it links to many other um, um, aspects. Wim has already introduced them to you, so I'll, I'll be brief. Our first speaker will be Hao Li. He'll talk about the upper uh, Mekong region, the Lanchang Basin, and uh, Ram Bastakoti will talk about uh, the lower Mekong region. Thank you for this data. Uh, good morning, everybody, again. Uh, and I'm the Pastagoji from the Asian Institute of Technology. So just set up corporations. That's many countries that are institutions. Good morning, everybody. Now, uh, my talk for today is uh, Impact of Climate Change and Human Activities on Sediment Yield uh, from the Mekong River Basin. It is a case study of now to be a climate change on the annual level of the Lanzo River Basin. As we know, it's difficult to hear in your comments. The problem and challenge is so. Uh, gross salinity intrusion or acid water bank erosion and so on. 
and we uh, decided that we also have first half a million Thailand in Bangkok and uh, so it, it uh, affects um, thousand, a thousand people living in Bangkok. So uh, uh, flooding is an urban area. Industry and also energy. And those has caused the consequent impacts including the flow modified in terms of flood magnitude and town as well. Sediment uh, into the area, but it brings sand. So it also lead to reduce the mangrove area. Uh, and I would like to introduce you the resource area in this map. Uh, it's a open. I've made this creation.
especially in countries like Laos and Cambodia, where they have to have opportunity to come to interact with each other, giving a platform, it could be a physical, a virtual platform, to share knowledge and information. Also in I learned that work. But we also see that, that there is more focus needed. So we cover the whole combination, which is a huge basin, and I think also now so and part of that. We are thinking about Kanto, and we have two postdocs working on Kanto. Yeah. But, but how, how could we, I mean, in, 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 in the phase one, if we could continue with the Kanto area, then that's going to be some exercise of what is the most efficient to, to agree on a, also a work schedule for the coming uh, weeks. Generally, we would like to close the project after postponing the, the real ending of the project several times. We really have to close it in May. We have to finish the budget and really just close it. And what has been done till May has been done. What has not been done was not possible to do in the first place. So uh, all financial, we come to financial implications of that after lunch. but. Plan for the 1st of May. We expect that each supervisor and uh, researcher yeah. is sitting That's together. The and the other thing that is here is also uh, the but so the unit is here, the household is here. But do we also have social media? Yeah. 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 I also would like to have an idea. I also have a question. So, what's the group of the two ends? Right. The color is called West. Right. But there are two versions of the paper. And one of those in the book. Very, very promising. Um, what we would like to do is yeah. close the meeting because we're not yet there. What is the most important number five? Nobody cares. No, no, no. It's just a bit based on our brainstorming, we came up with the following five topics that should uh, illustrate a little bit what type of research we are hoping to do there. So, what are the current and future challenges for life fields and politics? Okay, in this is when the men can type and you can check with. It's a postdoc in this. So, we totally agree that the postdoc is a part of the postdoc. I think um, the requirement for postdoc program should be uh, equip them with some so kind of uh, how can we make it extra curriculum skill or activity so that they can equip with um, more <coughs> skill required for their job uh, in the future. Uh, first, uh, really enjoy this workshop. Learn a lot. I think this workshop is very nice. I'm looking forward and output very much. Teaching material and how that could be very helpful. Also, yeah, all that is very useful. I think if this pro program can continue and also uh, uh, give a chance for our university have uh, some topic and do a and for, for preparing us and for the future follow up. Special thanks also to Tom. We all have a big depth with him too. Without him, it would not be possible, and it's a pleasure to work with him. Thank you very much. The workshop is closed. Thank you for staying home. Thank you for all the time.